matchup between Conor McGregor and Alexander the Great Volkanovski. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity. We all saw what he did and outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete. He was an absolute rotter, but now it is felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill for fitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now they're all chasing the bull, man, Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course the centerpiece is the two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now it's his his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. The notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels, explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going to try it. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, under three minutes now to go.
go in round one. Big body kick. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the match after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Now we're going. McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submission. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge... Oh, oh, he got the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, they can the night down. a huge move to the body. McGregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a even the other is over. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. 